Yes, I've caught a bunch of sturgeon in my life. Um, but there's nothing like the big whites that are out west that come in out of the Pacific Ocean. I hooked a fish one time fishing with Jim Spicklemeyer, the guy that first um, talked me into putting in that silly belly boat, um, saying it, boy, they had the bungee jumping and fishing going out on here. And he, while I, after I fought it for two hours, it almost drowned me. Then he admitted he had made it up. He hadn't had anybody ever do it. My friend, right? You know? But <laughs> I survived it, and uh, more people have laughed at me and the, the idiot I made of myself out there trying to handle that fish in a, in a belly boat than I can tell you. But I've also had out there, I had a fish on that I fought for an hour and a half at least and I'd get it maybe 15 or 20 feet off of the bottom, and then it would just get sick of me and it would head for the bottom and slam me right to my knees on the damn boat. I mean, boom! I, I, as much as I could do, I couldn't get the fish to come off of the bottom more than about 15 feet. And eventually, I don't know if it cut, hit, hit a rock or whatever, but eventually the line broke. Couldn't handle them when I had the equipment specifically for sturgeon. Now, I know they catch thousand pounders out there every year. Was that what I had hooked? I don't know. But that's part of the majesty, part of the special thing that big sturgeon can do for you. When you're looking at a fish that weighs half a ton and it comes completely out of the water and makes a splash big enough that you hang onto the side of your boat, um, that'll get you going, man. That'll get the heart beating, and there's nothing else in fresh water that'll do it like that. That's a promise. Hey, folks, if you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.